What's up lunatics? Welcome back to the channel. We're out in the bait laboratory today and we're going to be making some swim baits. I've got the six inch do it molds ripper mold. This is a big swim bait. You can make it into a line through. You could use like an owner beast hook or something like that on there. It's got a really unique action. I've gotten to fish with this a couple times. I was hoping to put together a video of me making some of these baits and then also put some footage of me catching a fish on it, but with this whole COVID-19 thing, that got shot out of the window, unfortunately. So what we're gonna do today is just make up some of these swim baits. I'm gonna make up like a pearl white kind of color to start off, and then I'm going to try to do some sort of an laminate type of a color, It'll make it like a kind of like a pro blue type color. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I'm looking forward to making these baits. These, these are pretty cool swim baits. Um, when you're making some big baits like this, there's a few things that you need to take into consideration when you're making them, and we'll go through that as we go through this video. So hopefully we can come out with some pretty cool looking baits and hopefully catch some fish on it when these lakes open up out here in San Diego, because unfortunately all of my lakes out here are closed. Um, I gotta make at least a two hour, three hour drive in order to get to some open launch ramps. I did that a little bit ago and uh, had a fun day out on the lake, but that's not something I can do on the regular because you know life has its priorities. And unfortunately I cannot make the time every single weekend to drive six hours round trip to get some fishing in, but hopefully I will here in the near future. But enough talking, let's get into making these baits. So my buzz bait video that I did the other day, the giveaway was pretty successful. So we're gonna do it again with these swim baits. So if you wanna win some swim baits, here's how to get in on the giveaway. You gotta like this video, you gotta comment, I want those swim baits, and you gotta subscribe to my channel. So you gotta comment, subscribe, and like this video. Make sure to comment, I want those swim baits to get entered in, so that way I can keep track of the people that actually wanna win and the people that are just leaving a comment. So if you want a chance to win these swim baits that I'm making in this video, make sure to like the video, comment, I want those swim baits, and subscribe to my channel. It would also be awesome if you shared this video with some other people that you think would like this type of content. So let's get into it, let's make these baits. So here's some of the stuff that we're gonna be working with today. We got that pearl powder for the bottom side of this swim bait when we're doing the laminate, and that's the color that we're gonna start off using for our first solid single color pour. And then we're gonna have the blue pearl highlight for the top color, and then we've got some black and blue flake that we're gonna put into that pearl powder. And then we got some Soft Baits Plastisol Stabilizer that we're gonna use. This is our six inch do it ripper mold. And then right over here, we got our Soft Baits Crystal Clear Plastisol that we're gonna be using today. All right, so we got just a little bit over one cup of that Soft Baits Crystal Clear Plastisol. We are gonna get that ready to go in the microwave. And we're gonna start off with two minutes in the microwave and then we'll stir and then we'll do it until we get up to temp. So let's go with two minutes. So something I'm gonna do right now is add in some Plastisol stabilizer. And the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want my plastic to burn. I'm just gonna put a little bit of it in there. Um, sometimes when you don't put that in there and you have to heat it up for a while and reheat things, you can have a tendency to burn your Plastisol. So I'm hoping that by putting that Plastisol stabilizer in there, I will you know, give myself a little bit more wiggle room to avoid burning my plastic. Something I think all you guys should look into buying is one of these infrared thermometers. It really makes it easier to get your temperatures, makes it easier for you to get your laminate colors to be the right temperature. Um, I did a, a long time without getting one of these, but once I got one, it's really helped me with my laminates and getting all of my uh, plastics to the same temperature. So really think you guys should look into getting one of these infrared thermometers. They're not too expensive. You can get them at Home Depot or something like that. Okay, so the Plastisol's been in for about four minutes, so we're gonna see what our temperature is. And we are at 344, so we're pretty close to where we need to be. It probably did get to 350, but I'm gonna put it in there for about another 30 seconds. All right, so our Plastisol is ready to go. The first thing we're gonna use is this pearl powder. So I'm going to take my quarter teaspoon measuring spoon right here, and I'm gonna get, that's probably a quarter of a teaspoon. This is a half teaspoon measuring spoon, so I'm gonna put half of it in there, so that makes it a quarter teaspoon. And then we are going to stir it on in. Let's see what we end up getting. I don't want it to be too strong and too thick of a color. 
usually doesn't take very much powder to really make your baits get that pearl effect so i'm hoping i didn't do too much but even if i did it's not gonna ruin the bait it's not gonna ruin the video or anything like that but um so far it's looking fairly good i might put a little bit more just to kind of whiten everything up a little bit but i don't know i kind of i'm kind of liking it so far so let's just keep stirring it around see how things go get it off the sides sometimes when you fill your cups this high with your powders and stuff and i got a fan blowing to blow all the fumes out of the garage sometimes you end up making a little bit of a mess and all that powder doesn't get in like you were hoping so we're gonna run with that and see how this first one turns out it's a little bit more of a yellowy color than i was hoping for but you know what actually we're gonna put a little bit more of this pearl powder in and just see what it does if anything it's just gonna make it a little bit more white which is fine because essentially that's what we're wanting this to be is a kind of like that shad white color i am making a mess with this pearl i should have probably done a little bit smaller amount of plastic but we're all right okay so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that we don't have too much pearl on there get some of this black just a little bit i don't want too much it's probably just barely under a quarter of a teaspoon stir it on in and the next color we're going to do is the blue flake yeah i like that i like what that did to my plastisol i really think it definitely changed the effect of what i had in there initially and i think it changed it for the better kind of gave me a little bit of a a gray hue which i which i like and then hopefully when i get that blue in here in just a second it'll kind of bring out another little bit of a color just barely want any of that blue in there i don't want a ton i just want you know a few flakes here and there just to give it a little bit more than just the the pearl and the black but not so much that the blue is going to overpower and i definitely think that that turned out to be a pretty cool little color and we'll make our first swim bait using just this color and then we'll mix up uh, like basically two-thirds cup of a another color and i kind of changed my mind from the beginning of this video i was going to do like a pro blue color but i might go with more of like a baby bass or like a kind of like a bluegill type of a color with the you know green pumpkin top and this white bottom it's not really bluegill but you kind of get an idea of what i'm going for all right so we're ready to roll on this first swim bait we're gonna suck up our plastic all the way up go over to our mold we're gonna give it some pressure on down I'm going to hold that pressure. There's a lot of plastic in this bait, so I'm going to hold that pressure for a little bit longer than normal. Hold that pressure. Okay, now I'm going to lift up, and I'm going to top off my sprue. Just like that. Pour that extra back in my cup. And then we'll see what we got here in a second. All right, so hopefully our swim bait is ready to come out of the mold. I'm going to open it up, take the clamps off. I'm going to use this little knife here to help me open up my mold, just like that. Pop it open. And we got a good looking bait in there. I like how that turned out. It's a pretty cool color. Nice looking bait could have filled in a little bit better up top right there but you know what overall it's a good looking bait okay so off camera i added a little bit more plastisol to the cup which is going to be our second color and you know what i changed my mind this is my channel and i get to decide what we're gonna do so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make up like a green pumpkin kind of a watermelon color to simulate a bluegill color and then we're gonna pour up one of those and then to finish this video off we're going to pour a lamb in it with the two colors with the pearl color that i made and this green color that we're going to come up with right now
So what we're gonna be using to make up our watermelon green pumpkin color is the watermelon green next to colorment and the watermelon brown next to colorant. We're probably gonna do like, I don't know, maybe like four and four or six and two, something like that to try to get to our green color. So we're gonna see what that looks like at first and then we'll make adjustments as needed. All right, so our plastisol should be ready to go. We're gonna stir it up. It looks like it could have used a little bit more heat, but we're gonna add our colorant to it and then we'll put it back in for like 30 more seconds and it'll be exactly where we want, but we don't want to burn it. So put the knife aside and what we're gonna do is take our watermelon green. I'm gonna add about six drops. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And I'm gonna take the watermelon brown, add two, We're going to stir everything up and see what we end up with and then decide what changes we need to make if any and it's going to be probably a little thin but we're going to keep stirring it in and see how we end up actually i kind of like that and we're going to add some black flake and a little bit of blue pearl highlight because all those bluegills have a little bit of blue in them so let's get our black flake ready to go because that black flake is going to darken it just slightly but that's okay so we're gonna take about a quarter teaspoon of that black and we will stir it in to our plastic and as I'm stirring it in I'll show you guys because we might need to add a little bit more black flake into it actually I think we're okay we'll see what this blue pearl highlight does first and I'm going to do very very little because I just want it to be a slight amount and this is about a cup of plastic and I've probably got I don't know an eighth of a teaspoon something like that you can already see once it dropped into that that pearl, blue pearl kind of just highlight and pop up pretty good so hopefully I didn't put too much in but I don't think I did this is going to be a kind of a cool little green with a blue hue to it just like a bluegill I think it's going to give us the desired effect that we're going for. And I think it's going to make a pretty cool looking swim bait. Great for the post spawn because those bluegill always like to come after the that fry after the spawn's over. And those fry garters and then the females that are, you know, wanting to protect all that fry that they just spawned out. They're going to come up and eat this thing because they think the bluegill swim by trying to eat all that fry. So a bait like this could be perfect in the post spawn. So I think that's looking pretty good. Hopefully that blue shines up like it does in the bait, like it does on the top of this cup of plastic. So let's put this back in the microwave, heat it back up a little bit, and then we will pour our baits. All right, so our watermelon blue pearl color is ready to go. We're gonna get our injected air in there, suck up all that plastic, come over to the mold and give us a good amount of pressure down you don't want to go too hard down because you don't want to get flashing inside your injector because if you push too hard it will squirt out the sides and you'll get flashing and it basically messes up your entire bait and on something like this you're going to end up having to chop it all up in order to get it to melt back down in your cup and all that so i'm holding the pressure fairly firm in this bait and then i'm going to pull up and then i'm going to top off my sprue Put the rest back in. All right, let's take a look at this green pumpkin, this watermelon blue pearl color. We're gonna open up our mold and check out this six inch dual mold ripper swim bait that I just made up. And uh, so far, that looks like a pretty cool looking bait. Hopefully it fills out a little bit. It's still probably pretty soft where that plastic is right there where that little bit of denting is. Um, that's one thing I've noticed is is I end up with a little bit of denting. That's probably user error, not so much with the mold. I'm going to pull off that sprue, put it over here in the bath, and then we are going to get going on the laminate color. All right, so we got our plastic ready to go. I'm going to get our injectors in there, suck up that plastic, come over to the blending block, 
and I honestly don't remember which side needs to go where, so we're just winging it. We might have to do this again, but we're gonna give some even pressure down, and I feel like we got a good pour there. Well, we won't know until we open up the mold, but I'm gonna hold that pressure down. Hold it nice and snug. I'm gonna pull it up, top off the sprue. Looks like we got a good pour. We'll find out here soon. Pour the extra back in our mold or in our cups. Let's see how these turned out. I have no idea if they turned out good or not. We are gonna find out right now. I'm gonna open up this mold and see how the laminate looks. And it did not laminate good. Definitely did not laminate good. It tried to, but the uh, laminate was the wrong direction too. So we are gonna try it one more time and see how it goes. This, this mold really isn't made to laminate, but I definitely did it upside down. So we're gonna switch it up this go at it and uh, try it one more time. All right, so we're gonna try to do these a little bit colder than we did last time. So we're gonna suck up our plastic into the injectors. See if we got good flow, which we do. Come over to our mold. We're gonna switch it up from the direction that we did last time. And we're gonna do even pressure down. Hold that pressure. Some didn't feel right that time in the injector process, so we're gonna see how these ended up. I have a feeling that it did more of the the white pearl color than it did of the of the uh, watermelon color, but we won't know until we get these things out of the mold. So do the sprue just like so. Okay. All right, let's check out our second attempt at a laminate. I don't know if it turned out, like I said in the beginning when I was pouring it, I don't know how well this one turned out, but I'm gonna need to get my little knife out of here to open up this mold. I tried to clean up the table a little bit for you guys so it wasn't so messy. Let's open it up and it's still not a good one. Still not a good one, I got a dent right there and the white, like I said, overpowered. And I'm gonna show you why I think that it didn't really do well in this mold because this mold is not technically made for laminate. So if you look at the gate right here, as I believe what it's called, it's not vertical. If the gate went directly out of the nose, out of the top of this mold, then it would be much easier to pour that laminate. I have had success occasionally where I can get some decent laminates out of this mold, so I wanted to give it a go on film, but obviously like I, like I showed you guys, I did not get those laminates to go. It's very, very touchy if, if you can get the laminates to go. Occasionally, I will get it, but like you saw today, that did not happen. The uh, two solid color ones, I think, turned out really, really well. I think they're definitely gonna be fish catchers. I think that bluegill, green pumpkin, watermelon color is definitely gonna be able to catch you some post-spawn fish, or those bass that are chasing those bluegills. So I decided about midway through this video that I wanted to do a giveaway. Um, I'm gonna give away all four of these and uh, one person's gonna win them all. And what you gotta do to get in the giveaway is to like the video, comment on the video, I want those swim baits, and subscribe to my channel. Do those three things and you'll be entered in to win. We're gonna give this a week from the day that it goes live on YouTube. So you need to like the video, comment, I want those swim baits, and subscribe to my channel in order to get entered in. And it's gonna go for a week once this video goes live. So I'll have a date pinned down in the comment section that you can see so you can follow along and figure out when I'm gonna announce the winner. It all depends on when this video goes live and it'll be a going for a week. So like I said, make sure to like the video, comment, I want those swim baits, and subscribe to my channel to be entered in to the giveaway. So I really wanna thank you guys for watching today's video and watching me make these baits. Uh, two of them turned out really good and the other two uh, turned out not so good. They were failed attempts at some laminates. But like I said in this video, not really the best mold to do laminates. However, I have 
gotten some pretty good ones even though it's not really made to do the laminates. Thank you for watching my channel. And if you don't care about the giveaway but you wanna subscribe, I'll take that as well. But you might as well get on the giveaway so you have your chance at winning some of these swim baits. But thanks again for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time. Later.